William the Marshal is coming to France to win him renown with his sword and his lance. In all that fair kingdom, no knight can be found in battle or tourney to cast William down. William the Marshal, right valiant was he, and loyal his service to good King Henry. On the helms of the French knights he made his steel ring, and beside them fought Richard, the son of our king. King Philip of France thought the war he had won when he leagued with Count Richard, our king's eldest son. For an aging king's knights very rarely are known to blithely make war against the heirs of the throne. Count Richard was doughty and heavy of hand and called no man master through all of England. But William the Marshal through all of the West had fought in no combat. It chanced that our army had suffered a rout, from which fled the king with but few men about. Them did Count Richard most fiercely pursue, and his company likewise, though valiant to this view. Both Henry, good comrades, the foe followed fast. We have fought many battles, but this is the last. Nay, sire, said William, I deem it not so. By your leave, I remain here to hinder the so William the Marshal, with one knight beside, his liege lord to save, turned him back in his ride. His shield on his arm and his lance couched low, he wheeled round his horse and rode right at the foe. Count Richard leads rashly, with three men or four, so quickly he'd come that no armor he did. Right at the leaders rides William in wrath, with Richard A hero in battle, as many tales tell, but a lion in battle, as many tales tell, but even a hero is apt to get hurt when the best lance in Europe comes a his shirt. Count Richard was valiant and royally proud, yet he stood in his stirrups and shouted aloud, Oh, slay me not, Marshal, for armor I've none, and to strike me unarmored right basely were done. Sir William replied, and his rage it was hot, The devil may slay you, the marshal will not. He bent not his charge, he slacked not his course, but his lance point came down, and he slew Richard's horse. This only remains, ere a month passed away, King Henry of England upon his beard. In grief for his knights there, all standing around, when to them came Richard, the heir of the crown. Seeing the marshal, he called him apart. But lately you sought with your lance for my heart. You charged me unarmored, and I would be dead, but my arm struck your lance, and my horse died instead. Nay, sire, said William, you do me great wrong. My eye is still clear, and my arm is still strong. I struck where I aimed, and I wished it instead your horse would still live, and another be dead. I sought for your death neither then nor before, but would think it no crime to have slain you in war. Be pardoned, said Richard. I'll bear you, my life, and pray that men serve 